Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited today because I actually got sent uh, this song as a request and the name of it actually intrigued me in general. Um, so I'm actually gonna pull up the lyrics also uh, on my other monitor while I watch the live performance just because I'm very interested in the story of what this song is given that it is a battle that happened during the race to the sea. They're great storytellers. So let's not waste any time. Please like and subscribe. Let's run it. Already the opening lyrics before I even hear the song are awesome. I'm just looking over here at him right now. In a foreign field he lay, lonely soldier, unknown grave. On his dying words he prays, tell the world of Passchendaele. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, the fact that we're only 30 seconds in and already like the stage production is already presenting like the idea of like bombs dropping in a battlefield. Dude, this is so cool. I mean, I'm look, I understand for anyone who saw like the first uh, video, you know, I'd already explained everything about why I just hadn't dove into Iron Maiden yet, even though I have a very close friend who is a diehard fan. I just really I've already become very much um, appreciative of how they present their stories and how they present their songs to their live audience. This is awesome. I'm going to go back just a little bit. That's barbed wire. They're bringing barbed wire into the stage. No mockeries for them from prayers or bells. Nor any voice of mourning save the choirs. The shrill, demented choirs. Of what World War I poem is this? If anyone knows what World War I poem that is, uh, can you throw it down in the comments? This is such a cool way to present a show with your audience. This is like, this is like actually very, this is like, um, I'm taking notes. <laughs> I'm like taking notes for our shows. Of wailing shells. Hmm. watch that again now nah, we're gonna watch that again that was filthy one starting off with the finger tapping on a descending line and then having the bass follow the vocal melody to like present the story already which i'm looking at the lyrics right now and it's just like it's such a cool it's such a cool story so i want to watch this again i you know i never know what to expect with iron maiden i have learned and that's such a great way to open the song
In a foreign field he lay, lonely soldier on the grave. On his dying words he prays, tell the tale of passion day. I'm reading the lyrics on this left side while they're going through it just because I really love the way that they present a story and it's like it's it's very cool how they bring you along the journey even in their live performances one Bruce Dickinson literally with like with a helmet on like literally like up on like the second level of the stage surrounded by barbed wire presenting this story like already like in that verse of like the relive all that he's been through last communion of his soul rust your bullets with his tears let me tell you about his ears Laying low in a blood-filled trench, killing time till my very own death. On my face, I can feel the falling rain. Never see my friends again. That is awesome. That is awesome. And then, like, how it blows up here, and then presenting, like, all this emotion with in the smoke and the mud and lead, smell the fear and the feeling of dread. Soon be time to go over the wall, rapid fire, and the end of us all. That is awesome poetry dude if you jump into the lyrics and the story it just presents a whole different world i'm gonna go back a little bit i love these lyrics Okay, I know I'm going to pause a little bit, but it's also because right here, Dickinson does this again. I talked about this in the first one I watched. The way he creates his vibrato is he does this thing with his lower, um, like the elevator in his throat where he does like a, I don't know if you can see that, but it's awesome because he does the vibrato with like his low mid and he's somewhat in like his like mid to low range and wa watch how he hits his vibrato right here. And the smoke of the mud and lead, so cool Tell the tale of power. 
fashion tale. Okay, hold up. We have a couple things, so we definitely got to go through. First of all, ending kind of that first movement uh, with the lyric. I was just looking at it right here. Be united with my dead friends soon after painting the whole picture of certain death in this battle is awesome. Like, it's just awesome. Just from like a songwriting, per a songwriter's perspective is awesome. But the way that they present it as a story, the way like Dickinson just like crushes it, it's awesome. But also what I want to say is I love, they open with the finger tapping, the descending line, but they've turned it into a motif that keeps returning within the song. But the thing I love the most about this performance and the way that they present it in this live performance, having everyone up front stage and then bringing that like motif back in that descending like top line, they bring it back with even more energy and a lot more grit, which is just such a cool way to like reinstate a portion of the song and how a part of that song is telling the story of what's happening. I just want, I w just, I just want to listen to it again. I'd want to listen to it again. <laughs> Tell the tale of Passchendaele. This is awesome. I just look. We we all know. Look, we all know the band is killer. The bassist is killer. The lead singer is killer. This is just I, this live performance to me is just more about. It's incredible how they present a story and an imagery and how they just like bring their audience along with it. And that is just a very cool God. I mean, usually for a lot of bands, this would be a lot to figure out on how to really connect with the audience with telling a story like this with the stage set the way it is with the movements. This is a mastery of storytelling right here and songwriting. Honestly, this is very good. We got to go over that swell real quick that Dickinson just hit one like again like I mean the lyrics are awesome I'm literally just like going through like the story is just great I love the storytelling of this song is beautiful whenever you hit like a really big note a sore or like a swell and then you try to slowly almost like you think on like a keyboard like when you're trying to like modulate it down like slowly and like kind of get that like feel that's exactly what he does right here and it's just so killer and almost the way that he also doesn't just he doesn't just like swell it and then descend he actually like quiets his vocal so you feel as if there's a fader on his vocal this is awesome oh,
want to hear that again. I just love it. The break into like the fourth movement. This guy like casting, almost looking like he's raising the sound of the next movement that's coming. Then standing center stage and hitting the riff right off the bat into a right into a guitar solo. This is just such. It's, it's just it's just great. It's just great performance. He's just a killer solo. I just love it. Just killer solo. Are you guys cool if we watch it again? <laughs> go back that was awesome one the transition back into the motif and he's laying over the barbed wire after presenting those lyrics come on this is such great storytelling in a performance like this is so dope we it, like We got to rewind and talk about something real quick and something that I love. Look, there is something that that lead singers will do all the time. There's nothing worse than when you pay a lot of money to come see one of your favorite bands perform. And in the middle of the highest part or the one of the coolest parts of the song, the lead singer holds the mic out to the crowd for them to sing the highest part. My favorite thing right now of what Dickinson just did and it just shows why he is one of the greatest like vocalists, like front men of all time is what he just did. 
He allowed the crowd to be a part of the moment after he has sang this whole song, sang every moment, got the crowd into it. It's awesome, right? Perfect crowd engagement. Crowd feels like they're one with the band. It's awesome. But then he hits the note that everyone you know came there. They want to hear that moment once they knew this song was being played. And he does it. He doesn't try to like ease out of it or hit an octave low, which so many lead singers do. He goes for it and he nails it. Dude, that is just awesome. To, wait, to bring back that motif, that descending top line at the very end, started the song with the finger tap, end with it, but then bring about the idea that this character now, their spirit now moves across, like moves across to the other side. Almost even like reminding the audience or the listener that like this is a song that's actually like very tragic, you know, and it's a very much a song about the horrors of war. Dude, this is this. That was a cool one. Dude, this was so, so cool. I mean, just so cool. Beautiful. Yes. 